The German Greens have done that to the degree, rightly or wrongly in many other respects, that they have turned their politics into a festival. And it's a public festival. They use parliament, and it's magnificent. They have used the Bundestag, although that may well be declining among them now, as a theater to educate the German people. So that their purpose is not so much to pass laws, in the best of cases, but to be able to address the German people through the Bundestag. And they will do the most outrageous things to electrify the Germans, and I can give you so many instances that it's unbelievable. What? I'll give you one that is absolutely hilarious, and it mixes in obscenity and an X rating. It mixes in obscenity and an X rating with damn good politics. Joschka Fischer, with whom I have a lot of disagreements, but whom I like as a character, got up in the German Bundestag in a debate, and I won't go into the issues, and turned to the president and said, you are a big fat asshole. <laughs> that gives the president the right to kick Joschka Fischer out until he recants or apologizes. So Joschka Fischer was ordered out of the Bundestag and he went out. Now remember that all the television cameras are focused on the Bundestag proceedings when he makes that statement. So all the German newspapers had the headline, Joschka Fischer of the Greens calls president of Bundestag big fat asshole. It was all the <laughs> Every paper in Germany, practically, was filled with that. <laughs> Commentaries, denunciations, a whole education went on around the question of that one simple piece of theater. Theater. Finally, after four days or whatever it may be, Yoshka wrote back a letter of apology so he could be readmitted. I will more or less try to summarize the letter, but as close to his own words as possible. And this is a form of education, believe it or not. It really teaches you a certain disrespect for the pompous nature of that authoritarian thing called the German Bundestag, <laughs> who which incidentally is engaged in the dirtiest kind of mafiosa graft you, you can think of. The Flick scandal showed that. Dear Mr. President, I wish to apologize for calling you a big fat asshole. <laughs> the word big fat asshole was very inappropriate. To have called you a big fat asshole, admittedly, was not the thing that should have been said to you. You can take that with a double entendre. <laughs> I therefore wish to tell you that in calling you a big fat asshole, I was inappropriate because using the word big fat asshole was not what I meant to say. I therefore tender my apology for calling you a big fat asshole. <laughs> so I'm just deficient. <laughs> now let's analyze this beyond the humor of it. The first thing he did was slap an institution in all its pomposity, in all its pretension, in the face. And this is good in Germany, and it is equally good in America. The second thing he did in repeating the language was to finally give an earthiness to politics about big fat assholes, <laughs> to remove the sociologies, the sociologies that tends to exist in that kind of parliamentary discourse. He brought it down to the street level so that the streets could understand it, and he pointed out, damn it, that the Bundestag was in the streets, not in some sanctum sanctorum. A third thing, to deflate the authority of the president of the Bundestag. The fourth thing is to cause a tremendous amount of discourse, commentary, laughter, and bring laughter into politics. And with that, the wisdom that laughter and with that, the irony, the dialectical irony of inversion that is brought into it. That's only one example. That only comes to mind. I can give you many others. But there is an example of using the Bundestag not so much to pass laws. You know, the German Greens have only succeeded in passing one law. And I think that has to do with the importation of fur animals into Germany. Other than that, they have not, that I know of, passed any laws. I'm not up to date. But that sort of thing is marvelous. However, if you want to sit down and make a dirty deal with the SPD, Social Democratic Party, and cook up how you can have, oh, say, oh, I'll be ironical, Danny Cohn Bendit as the Minister of Interior, that is bad news. And once the German Greens go in that direction, it will be bad news. So that's what I wanted to use as an example in a very crude way. There are many sophisticated ways in which you can use the political arena 
not for the purposes of exercising power, but for educating the German people, not only intellectually, but also emotionally, to look at that authority and say, you know, he is a big fat asshole. <laughs> and most of them, and there are big fat assholes. <laughs> this is an education in Germany, very important.